Hey everyone, welcome back to Sebrawolf. In this video, I will be explaining that how to optimize the Valorant game on your Windows 10 and 11 to get the maximum FPS and lower the latency rate. So I will be sharing almost all the settings required on your Windows and even I will be sharing the optimization pack that will be disabling many of the services and the registry that basically causes the FPS drop and increases the input delay. So make sure that you apply all the solution the video can be a bit lengthy but this will be really effective if you want to gain much improvement on your valorant game now before starting i would recommend you that you should create a restore point which is very easy to create click on your windows search type create then click on create a restore point this kind of box will be coming up now here you have to click on create in case if this create option is not highlighted then click on configure make sure the system protection has been enabled then click on apply and the create option will be highlighted click on create and now you can give any kind of name like that you can easily identify when exactly you created and for what purpose so i will type valorant optimization then click on create and it just take few seconds and your restore point will be created all right so once it's been done click on close click on ok now next i won't be explaining you any setting about the valorant game but it's recommended that if you have a low-end pc then open your valorant game go to the setting gear icon click on settings from the top menu option click on video then go to the graphic quality and try to reduce the quality to the low mood so that you can enjoy the game without any kind of lag and without any kind of stuttering if you have the high-end pc then you can either go with the medium or with the high graphic quality all right so now next we can move with the windows settings so first what you will have to do right click on the windows icon then click on setting from the suggestion now here from the left in menu option click on system then click on display click on advanced display under related settings click display adapter properties for display one this will bring up another box now here from the top menu option click on monitor and from the screen refresh rate drop down choose the maximum hertz that is available for your computer so on my end it is 60 hertz so i will select it then click on apply then click on ok now next from the left in menu option only click on personalization then click on colors here you'll find the transparency effect so you will have to disable this option once disabled from the left in menu option only click on privacy and security and here we have to disable all these windows permission which is basically not required especially you do the gaming on the computer so click on general disable all these permissions go back click on speech disable it then do the same with inking typing personalization diagnostic and feedback activity history and the app permission also if you don't use any kind of application here like messaging task radios kindly go ahead and disable all of them once you are done click on the setting search type game mode click game mode settings now here assure that the game mode option has been enabled the next you have to look for game bar so type game bar click enable xbox game bar and disable this option so the game mode will be enabled and xbox game bar will be disabled once done below you will find the related setting and below that you will find the graphic option click on it now once you click on graphics on the top here you may find hardware accelerated gpu scheduling i don't find this option but if you find it then make sure that this option has been enabled and if you find change default graphic setting then click on it and enable this option as this will be reducing the latency all right once you are done go back again and then next here we have to add the valorant game to the high graphic performance so click on browse and now we have to locate to the valorant and the riot game path so in order to find the game path what you can do click on your windows search type valorant right click on the valorant icon click open file location now here make a right click on the riot client then click open file location 
now copy this path from the top so click on it make a right click choose copy then go back to the graphics page paste the path at the top here hit the enter key select reward client services dot exe then click on add once added click on options choose high performance click on save now again go back to the folder now here from the top click on reward games then double click on valorant then double click on live now here click on valorant.exe copy the path from the top go back click on browse add the path at the top by pasting it choose valorant.exe click on add once added click on options choose high performance click on save again bring up the folder now this time here you have to click on shooter game then on binaries win64 now here is scroll down and you will find valorant win64 shipping dot exe select it then from the top copy the path go back click on browse again paste the path at the top hit the enter key select valorant win64 shipping dot exe then click on add again click on options choose it to high performance click on save and we are all done now so you can close it now we also need to enable the dpi setting for the valorant game so click on your windows search type valorant right click on the valorant icon choose open file location again right click on valorant choose open file location right click on reward client services dot exe then click on properties now here from the top click on compatibility and here you have to make sure disable full screen optimization and run this program as an administrator has been checked then below click on change high dpi settings and enable this option override high dpi scaling behavior so check this option click on ok click on apply then click on ok now you have to go back from this folder now right click on the valorant icon choose properties click on the compatibility here also assure both these options are being checked of full screen optimization and administrator then click change high dpi settings and enable this option then click on ok ok and close it next click on your windows search type ms config from the suggestion click on system configuration once it comes up from the top menu option click on boot option then click on advanced options here you will find number of processors so check this box and from the drop down choose the maximum number available then click on ok click on apply and then click on ok now it will ask to restart but we have to make some more changes and after that finally we will make a restart all right so now in the final step we will be using the game optimization pack so you will be getting the link for that in the description you need to download this optimization pack which is updated so download it and once it's been downloaded you have to extract it once extracted you will be getting this kind of file this kind of folder you have to open it now here you will find two different options optimize desktop and laptop and the cleanups so first we will optimize it so double click on optimize desktop and laptop you will find all these files that will be making the changes so first you need to click on quick apply so make a double click on it then click on run click on yes click on yes then click on ok now we also need to disable the game dvr so double click on it click on run click on yes yes and ok then we have to prioritize the gaming responsiveness so double click on it click on run click on yes yes and ok all right then you have to improve the network and as responsiveness so just click on it yes give all the permission click on ok then we have to disable the specter and melt down so double click on it again click on run click on yes now this optimization pack is basically to 
uh, just save your time so that you should not take a long time to make the changes and even not make any kind of mistake all right so dissimilarly you have to apply all these options here once you are done go back click on cleanups then you have to delete windows update cache file delete temporary file so run all these files from here and once you are done simply restart the computer and after that you will find that the performance of your windows computer has been boosted and even the next time when you will play the valorant it will be working much smoother with the high fps without any kind of stuttering problem so that's all guys for today hopefully you will find this video helpful and it will be giving you a great help to optimize your valorant game and if you found this helpful do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye